Ravenia. This place has got oop right there. Clock mechanics. While the moving gears of the clock tower's inner mechanics serve as a deterrent to many, others find the privacy offered by the cogs and wheels appealing. Oh. So people just hang out here. It's cool. Do they go any further down? Do in fact just keep going. Pavelia. Ooh. Hi. Can you come here, please? Where are you, friend? Were you out here? No. Key friend? Key friend? I heard you say hello. <laughs> oh. What is that noise? Ravenia. Oh, this is cross wands. There's key friend. Key friend, I see you. How do I get down to you and then get back up? Does this go down? Key friend, key friend, I need you. Okay, I think it went up. I'm stuck. Yay! Got it! Yay! I got them all! I can go to the house chest and get the fancy robe. After I explore this area properly. Revelia. But I don't think that helps these doors open. It's not moving now. Oh, 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 I see. Arrest the momentum. Ah, oh, frick. Nope, didn't quite. <laughs> okay. I gotta get it like right on the spot. Nope. Come back here. Arrest the limits. Oh, hello. Lumos. It already knows I'm in here. Do I have to do that again? Lumos. Is it fine? Because I already did it? Okay. Now, there was another one upstairs, right? That's where we just were, so I have to arresto momentum it. I think it looked like this. Come back. 
Arrest your momentum. And then run upstairs? I can't get it. Seems like that takes way too long. Okay. It's got symbols up here. I didn't realize it did that. Wait, where did I see it? Here. Uh, okay. And it's a double head, so it wasn't even the one I thought it was. Oh! Arrest your momentum! What? Is that supposed to happen that way? I don't know. Alright. It's cool. We worked it out. I don't know if that that's supposed to do that, but okay. Does this keep going up? Oh! This one. You've got a weird side thing over there. I don't know that I can do it through here. Maybe I can. Arrest your momentum. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think I have to do it down there. Yeah. Eh. There we go. Keep going up? Oh. Okay, so this is where I was. Rebellion. Somehow just missed all of that. So the doors, okay. Alright, and then we got that door. We, we gotta keep going down. There's one door we don't have. Just keep going? No, not this way. Alohomora. And then this one is the unicorn one. Ah. Oh, there's pumpkins. Oh, that's awesome! Because it's Halloween! I love it! Okay, cool. You're next. Uh, here we go. I don't know that that's supposed to work that way. Is that it? Oh. I thought that was part of that door and you couldn't get in there. What's in here? Oh. Alohomora. Revelio. Lumos. That's outside in the courtyard. Revelio. I love the pumpkins. Revelio. Out here. 
Lumos. I didn't realize I could Ravelli you. I should have figured that out, but... I wanted to do this and we did. There's a courtyard I wanted to check out. Let's do Quartz Map. Let's do Bell Tower. Bell Tower Courtyard. This is telling me the level two door. Should have this thing? Bell Tower Courtyard to the left of the Flu Flame. Unlock the what? Unlock to the left of the Flu Flame. Down the Portrait Hallway and unlock level 2. So this thing... There was a level 2 in here? Revelio. At the end of the hallway? Oh! I don't see the statue there. I don't see a statue light up. Alohomora. What do we have here? Oh! A demi guys. He is there. Mine now, demi guys. And I just need one more. So let's go to Rivers located northwest of Irondale. Feldcroft. Where's Feldcroft? Irondale. Here? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Directly opposite ha this one? Oh, there it is, I see it. So there, mu there must be way more demi guys then. Alohomora. If that's all I need. Boom! Revelia. Anything else in here? Yes. Anything else I can loot from you? From you people? <laughs> Over here. Oh, it's still lit up even though I got it already. Weird. Okay. No, really not. Okay, let's go. Back to Mr. Moon, then. Where was the lady that needed the potion? Was she up this way? Was this her? My young friend. Hey, this was you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I don't believe you need it? Yes, I have some right here. Please, take it. And be careful. Oh, thank you! Thank you! I knew you had a good heart! I feel better already just knowing I have some Thunderbrew on hand! Please take this as thanks 
for your generosity. There you go. Oh, she gave me a bunch more potions. Okay, that's cool. Let's go talk to Mr. Moon. Um, was that the wrong flu flame? No, okay, good. I hope you've been staying vigilant. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh! I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding Demigai's statues and removing those moons. So, do you get anything if you complete the quest? You get an achievement. He said you'd find out... Oh, okay. It says there's no reason to do it. He talks like you'd actually, like, find out who put them everywhere. It's lame. I hate it when there's no point. What is this? Ma oh, the man behind the moons. Wait to hear from him. Okay. So uh, I just gotta wait till later, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, common room. Let's go to our common room. Let's go turn these in. Another house token for the house chest. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. I was like, please don't tell me I have to solve that. goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. <laughs> so I have a complaint. But let me put it on first. That does look pretty darn cool. My complaint is this. All the other robes, all the other house robes, are the house color, and then the emblem is the secondary color. So we have a black uniform and a yellow badger, and I feel like it should be a black badger and a yellow robe. But this is what we have. And I may forgive them for not giving me the house colors as my primary colors. We'll see. I don't... I Hufflepuff gets gypped a lot, and I would just like to show my house pride appropriately. That is my complaint here. Now what can I wear with this? Okay, so my problem was I couldn't find anything that I liked wearing with it. But I think this purple and yellow work for now. I kind of don't like it. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. The Hufflepuff Pride is awesome, but I kind of just don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Cannot wait, but I'm done. I'm done. 
can't wait to watch you try. All right, peeves. Oh, I need to go to the rumors requirement. It does look a lot better in the light. Give her a different hat. I just kind of hate it. I just kind of hate it. <sighs> what am I looking for? I don't even remember anymore. This stuff. This might help. Let's see if there's anything better. Alright. I am excited about the cloak, but I hate everything that I could possibly wear with it, so... I think eventually I'll figure something out. Now, now that we have all the Alohomores, there's a couple places I wanted to look. One of them is... Come on. Charms classroom. Your room is available to me! Oh, I only need level one. Another unidentified item. Possible classroom games. Levitation lesson. Encourage students to levitate blocks through raised hoops or similar. Disarm and dodge. Hone, expel your miss and reflexes. Targets on a tangent. Back to basics with casting practice on targets enchanted to move quickly. Writes down his game ideas. Whoa, that is a spiral staircase. Whoa, Revenia. where are we? Alohomora. Revelia. I, th I feel like it just sounds louder wherever I go. Whoa. Dark Cell Tower. Oh. Centuries ago, a charms professor kept a troll here on which students could practice particularly challenging spells. Shocking to be sure, but perhaps unsurprising during a time when Quidditch involved the use of live snidgets. One can only wonder what it may be used for in the future. This is where Revelio. Sirius was held. Cool. Very cool. Now, is that gonna make the dinging stop? Yeah, yeah, it does. Interesting. Okay. There's a locked door over here. There's gonna be locked doors everywhere now. And none are unavailable to me. Rebellion. Professor Shaw, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. It may be a perfect addition to an atlas I am hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. Best of wishes. Carnarius. Astronomy, Professor? Alohomora. Revelio. What is below me? Okay, a flu. Flu flame. Hi, kitty. Alright. Um, what were the other areas I wanted? Right, okay. Hogwarts map. Hogwarts map. Find the level two gr Oh, 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 oh. Bop, bop. Oh, I thought this is where Slytherin was. Is Slytherin this way? Did I go the wrong way for the first time ever? Apparently I did. Ha. Go. 
You got it. Revenia. There we go. Alohomora. Was this another potions room? Revelia. Alchemy class. Then he. Then what the heck does he teach? If this is alchemy. Offered to students on the rare occasion when demand suffices. Alchemy focuses on the four natural elements. And the science of trans. So he doesn't teach alchemy. That didn't look like ancient runes to me, though. Is that. Why are we digging in class? Revenia. Yeah, that just... What the hell does he teach? What is going on there? Oh, these guys. Which I didn't realize we hopped through that many, but apparently we did? There's a lot of them. <laughs> Um, all right, back, back, back the way we came. I want the stuff out here that I couldn't get. I don't quite remember where it was, but... Revelio. Oh. There's a there's a door. Alohomora. Revelia. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. What? The Demikai statues and the books contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguise moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Well, we're heading there next, so... Dear Diary, each day becomes more difficult to put on a brave face as I care for my beloved Hogwarts. Daily, it seems I stumble upon yet another demiguise sketch statue. Who's behind this? Whom have I wronged to such extent they must now torture me with these foul things? I despair. Ever since I encountered that horrible creature in Hogsmeade, I've been unable to sleep. I fear I am not only distracted from my duties by these blasted statues, but I may also be looking rather worse for wear without my requisite eight to nine hours of slumber. I must remain steadfast. If I falter, to whom will the students look for guidance in these magical halls? Hogwarts would certainly fall into a state of utter chaos if I were to abandon my post for a day. For even one day, I must remain strong for the students for Hogwarts. <laughs> Prestigious writings of Gladwin Moon. Uh, you know what? It's probably a good thing I can't collect that Wigan Wild Potion. You may need it. Revelio. So that's the potion I couldn't collect. There was one over here, right? Right? Wasn't there a... Maybe I did get it all. Isn't there something? There was another two lock. Alright. Maybe there wasn't. Um... Should I go attend Beast class? No, I wanted to go to Hogsmeade. Beast class will be after Hogsmeade. What are you up to now? Revelia. And now I will loot all the things. Alohomora. Lumos. So, I may cut out a lot of what I just did, which is running down the streets and looting every single house. Um, nothing real exciting happened. I found some really nice, like, legendary chests in a couple places, which were cool. Um, a couple demi guys that I decided not to grab because it really doesn't look like it matters if we grab them. 
I'm just being extra thorough. I may have missed a couple places, who knows? If anyone ever knew how to keep muggles out, it was Hengist of Woodcock. Revelio! Alright, let's go talk to this guy about the, uh, the stuff. You, sir! Oh, I did miss one. Look at that. I question any <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Alohomora. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Revenia. That it? Cool. Let me walk this way, do this thing, come back. I'm sorry. I feel bad about it. At this point, I don't think I need the money, to be honest. That's what I meant to do. No. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Mr. What's, what's your face? Pardon me, sir. But about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? You sent me a letter. I don't have that. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. Oh. So you did create them. I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl. On your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. <laughs> I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Seriously. Uh, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Is that it? Go talk to... Okay. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Sure. I'll go talk to him. We wanted to go back to Hogwarts anyway. Oh, wait, I should sell my clothes. I have a bunch of clothes. 